I'm Evelyn Mulrow and I'm the CEO of Cancer Trials Ireland and I took over in this role about a year and three months ago in June 2015 and so I'm really excited to be here to talk about e-health and the impact of that on cancer trials. I suppose it's be remiss of me not to mention that I worked in patient advocacy for a good 10 years before that and obviously e-health was really important and I have a huge experience from that perspective um, which we'll bring into the table in Cancer Trials Ireland. Our vision is that every patient on a cancer trial in Ireland will have their information linked in a national system where we can measure the impact of the cancer trials that we run in Irish hospitals. And also, not only that, as, as well as measuring the impact, we want to be able to find people with a particular cancer because cancer trials are changing fast. There's lots of new treatments coming down the tracks. There's lots of new personalised targeted therapies. And when a therapy is targeted, you need to be able to find the patient. And it's not just about where the cancer is anymore. It's not just about whether it's a lung cancer or a breast cancer. It's what's the gene we're targeting, what's the protein we're targeting. And we're going to come to a stage very quickly where we're going to need to have access to information, not personal information, but information on how many patients do we have with X gene in their tumour of this type of cancer. And if we have access to that data, lots of those organisations that are organised at a global level or a European level who are looking at conducting studies in this country, we will be able to show them and showcase what we have to offer. I think it has to be the iPhone, and I think that's probably everybody's favourite piece of technology. And it's not, you know, I don't necessarily like that, you know, you can keep tabs on work on your iPhone on a Sunday morning or afternoon. But what I do like is, you know, you can utilize it for your, for your life, for health. I use a lot of apps like Map My Run or Map My Cycle and, and keep an eye on my own, on my own health. My, you know, my, I watch my dad and he's looking at his steps every day. Um, and I think it'd be great to be able to log on and look at my health records and be able to contact my GP and say, you know, I need an appointment or I need a prescription. Can I pick one up or can I, you know, and I think we're getting there. I think what's, what's happening at the moment is there are a lot of, you know, private companies doing this piece of work, I'd like to see it more connected and more part of the whole public healthcare delivery. I mean, I work with all the oncologists in Ireland, um, radiation oncologists as well, and surgeons who are involved in cancer trials and cancer care. And this is something that, you know, they really want. Uh, I also work with research nurses, clinical research nurses, um, data managers within our hospitals. It's all their jobs and they all work in different little offices in different hospitals and they're not connected. And that's another story for another day. But what we'd really like to see is to have all of those people connected under one umbrella. Um, and I know that, you know, we're, we're at the minute, and we've, we've talked about, you know, our objective in data. And we're looking at systems that we could utilise that could talk to a system that perhaps the HSE might develop um, for patients in general. So that we can, we can link between data that we capture on our trials and data that's captured in the system. And, you know, as I talked about earlier, people are the most important driver of change like that. And the people that I work with want this because it saves time, it's more accurate. And when you work in a highly regulated environment like healthcare and cancer trials are even more regulated because they have to be, you need to write everything down. Everything has to be captured and documented. The easier you make that journey, the more effective your study is and the more safe the patient is in general, because if you think about it on a trial, there can be side effects, there can be issues around the study. The faster you get that information to the trial sponsor and to the people managing those, that patient's care, the better. So that's why we're really moving ourselves on our own, by our own steam, we're moving into the whole cap electronic data capture within cancer trials. But really that journey should be in, in parallel with what the state is doing in terms of e-health and in terms of capturing patients' data in general.